How to write your first Android game in Java. Did you know that there are different methods of making an Android game? Yes, however, we feel that doing it from scratch using a Java Android Studio is the best approach. It gives you full control over the appearance and behavior or your game. Apart from that, it will show you some skills for you to use in a wide range of scenarios. For instance, for when you're making your app splash screen or if you wish to include some animations. With this in mind, we've put together this studio game tutorial for beginners to guide you in the process of creating a simple Android game using Java programming. Take a look. What do you need? Of course, before you start developing an app, you should pick the best shortcuts or tools. Now, when creating your Android game, the most efficient tool to use is the Android Studio. So, it's preferable that you have a computer with Android Studio already installed. Also, make sure that you have basic knowledge of Java programming and how to operate it. Lastly, you should have the latest version of the Java Development Kit, JDK, and JRE already installed in your PC. Never give up. Giving up might seem easy but it shouldn't be an option in case you come across a roadblock. Instead, look for ways of overcoming that obstacle. A good example is the introduction of Android Wear which inspired us to start creating some watch faces. However, we ran into a few obstacles like random bugs which took almost weeks to overcome. The fact that we never gave up is something which we're very proud of. That's why if there's something that you should take from this source or guide is that there's a fantastic feeling once you successfully finish a project. Unless there's something that requires you to abandon the project entirely, it's wiser if you see it through till the end. Keep it simple. Going by the current market trends, the best games are those which come with basic concepts. With such simplicity, they are also addictive and fun. They also have endless replay value. Some of our favorite Android games are quite easy and offer fantastic replay value. So, in Android game development, avoid creating complicated games as the gamer has no time trying to figure them out. If you want to make any difficult game, it should be either for your PC or a console. Keep in mind that a good number of users don't want to spend hours gaming on their smartphones. There are some exceptions though, like Dead Trigger and GTA which offer loads of gaming experience. However, in this studio game tutorial for beginners, we would like you to concentrate on making accessible to play Android games. Come up with something original. We all know that there was a whole lot of Flappy Bird copycat games which are now in Play Store. Such is because a good number of people learned that they could. Make a lot of money blog.wps.com web link, from the idea. So, what do you think made the game a success? Well, we found that it was easy to learn, simple and original but quite hard to master, things which every gamer likes to see. Besides, several original Android games have enjoyed tremendous success. A good example is Angry Birds which is now a captivating animation movie. However, while you might make some money making knockoffs, you can quickly become a massive hit once you decide to create something unique. Just make a brand new innovative game and don't hesitate in releasing it to the world. Conducting a beta test. Here is one of the essential steps in Android game development. As a chief developer, you'll always favor the performance of your software, which might make you overlook a few flaws. That's why we feel that it's better for you to consult a third party, like a family member or a friend. You can even develop different test cases in the application to observe its commonly used features. To do this, you'll have to create hard coding routes that the game should follow to ensure nothing goes wrong. This method is a bit complicated if you're creating a basic app, but it's highly beneficial for those complex games. Therefore, the best thing for you to do is to have someone play the game for a short while as they test vital elements. Don't release a faulty or broken product, it will only tarnish your product's name and recovering from it is not easy. So, make sure that before you introduce your game to the world, it's almost perfect. Conclusion As you can see, 
creating your first Android game is something quite natural. With this advice, you can write any game using Java programming. However, remember that it takes a lot of practice and research to make your app great. Most importantly, keep it simple and do a thorough beta test before finally releasing it to the public. With the built 18.5 million software developers in the world today, finding someone to test your application is quite fast and reliable. We would also like to add that you should believe in your abilities and choose the right tools if you want to make a game that people can play for many years. So, do you prefer using Java or which programming method suits you when developing such apps? For more audio articles, tutorials and products updates, follow WPS Office on YouTube.